Well, in 1927, Mercedes Gleitz became the first British woman to swim the Channel. Now, later that same year, she became the first person to swim the Strait of Gibraltar as well and went on to set many more remarkable swimming records. Her achievements made her quite a celebrity in the 1920s and 30s before she then completely disappeared from the public eye. And today, her life as a pioneer of British swimming is celebrated in Brighton, as David Silito explains. <laughs> Sunrise, Brighton seafront. There's frost on the ground, and the sea is a mass of chilly, bobbing heads. Amazing. We saw the sun come up. Beautiful. You need to go in for yourself to find out. I don't think you can ever persuade anyone with words. You need to experience it. The early morning cold water dip has become a thing. Thousands of us in recent months have started to enjoy the physical and mental boost it can bring. And it's not just because it's a beautiful place for an early morning dip. The reason we're here in Brighton is because this was the home of a pioneer of this madness. Her name was Mercedes Gleitz, the first British woman to swim the Channel and the Straits of Gibraltar and around the Isle of Man. She was, in the 20s and 30s, a major celebrity. Even when she got married, her honeymoon, a swim across the Hellespont in Turkey. today for Turkey to attend the Hellespont, and I hope to win for England this additional swimming honour. Now, a hundred years on, Kirsten Callahan has spent three years recreating those experiences for a film celebrating the life of Mercedes Gleitz. A role that was about more than just learning lines. She really had to swim the swims. It's very cold <laughs> and it changes so quickly. There was seasickness and there was, I had really bad cramp. <sighs> During the winter when it was very, very cold, Sometimes if I lost my nerve, I would have to say, what would Mercedes do, what would Mercedes do? Because she always stayed calm. It just made me appreciate Mercedes more for what she did and how brave she was to do it and, and do it alone. And if you've never heard of Mercedes, you're in good company. Even her own family had only a sketchy idea of her achievements until they found her archive after she died. I knew my grandmother well. I spent a lot of time with her, um, but she never spoke to me about swimming. You knew nothing about the swimming? No, nothing. She never spoke to me about swimming at all. In fact, she lied about the fact that she was a swimmer to the neighbours that she lived with. You know, she was challenged. You know, you're Mercedes Gleitz, aren't you? Is she would deny who she, she was. It's laughable because it's obvious who she was, but she denied who she was because she didn't want that, that life anymore. What would you want to take from her these days? I mean, what, what is her message? What is... I think her, the central message from Mercedes Gleitz is that it's such an incredible example to, to people generally and to women. I'm so, I'm so glad to be able to talk about my grandmother with my daughter, for example, because it just shows you you, you can do anything. This film is honouring a pioneer. Mercedes Gleitz had done it on her own. A secretary who'd started swimming in her spare time and used her fame to raise money to provide housing for the homeless. And now, an inspiration for today's hardy souls, enjoying the pleasures and challenges of a rapidly growing way of embracing the therapeutic joys of a cold, wet winter. What a way to start the morning. It's fantastic most perfect, perfect sunrise, glorious sunshine. A little bit chilly, a little bit chilly. David Zoletto, BBC News, Brighton. Hats off to David for uh, taking the plunge there. Uh, well, <laughs> let's talk more about this uh, interesting film which has been made uh, by the Hove-based director, Elliot Hasler. It's called Vindication Swim. It tells the story, as, as you were seeing there, of Mercedes' extraordinary achievements. And, and interesting that she was in her time a household name, but now really sort of almost disappeared from the history books. But an, an extraordinary woman. 
Yeah, I mean, she's totally extraordinary. It's a fantastic story. And, you know, that's really why I wanted to, to direct this film, because, I mean, I hadn't heard of her before the, the project came about, and I was kind of shocked, really, that this woman had just been totally forgotten, who was such a trailblazer, you know, during her time. She accomplished all these things, and it's such a shame. But hopefully the film and, you know, the blue plaque that's being unveiled today, you know, start this journey of, of reinvigorating her, her kind of legacy. And, and tell us more about the film, because it's called Vindication Swim. What, what, what's behind that? Because at the time, there were some doubts about her achievements. Yeah, there was a massive controversy at the time as to whether she had actually swum the English Channel. There was this big hoax claim that, that was kind of inspired by another swimmer that, that came along shortly after Mercedes had, had swum it. And then it launched this whole hoax of the century, it was called. And it was this massive uh, phenomenon at the time. So the film focuses on that and Mercedes 1927 um, attempts at the English Channel. And she had to do it all over again, really, didn't she, to, to, to prove her doubters wrong? Yeah, she did. I mean, that's sort of hence the, the title. She had to go out and literally vindicate herself uh, through another swim. I mean, I'm kind of giving too much of the plot away here. But, yeah, well, spo but, spoiler uh, alert. Yeah. yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just tell us a bit about what it was like swimming in those days, because in a way, you know, some of the technology around swimming has, has some people would say, made it, you know, a little bit more comfortable, shall we say, than it was in the, in the 20s and the 30s. Definitely. I mean, even just sort of the elements like nutrition and the training for the swim. I mean, Mercedes, she used to eat duck legs, for instance, while she was swimming. You know, now you have all these energy bars and, and different things like that. And I mean, down to the, the things they wore. I mean, she was in a, a woolen bathing suit with a pair of uh, motorcycle goggles and a, and a bathing cap on, which Kirsten actually, she wore an original 1930s um, swimming costume for the film and everything. So we, we had to be very accurate in, you know, how we represented the uh, the types of uh, things they wore and stuff back in that era. What's the film trying to say about her as a person? I mean, she was obviously incredibly gutsy, incredibly determined, determined to prove her doubters wrong, uh, but also very, very modest to the point where she, she didn't even want to talk about her achievements later on. Yeah, she's a very interesting character in that sense. I mean, she did these incredible things, but then uh, the essence of Mercedes is that she is just a very normal person you know, you know she's a working class uh, woman who, who was a type typist before she um before she went into this world of swimming so that's kind of what the film's showing it's showing this ordinary woman who goes out there and you know does the extraordinary really and uh, we were seeing the star of the film um talking about well method acting in its extreme really actually mm -hmm. learning to swim um and quite a grueling process to actually swim for the movie yeah, I, I mean, hat goes off to Kirsten Callahan really for all the work she put into this. I mean, she trained for three months before we started uh, to get her technique perfect so that she could accurately, you know, represent the, the, the swimming that Mercedes would have done. And everything you see in the film is real. You know, we didn't fake any of this in a tank against the blue screen. It's all real. It's all in the English Channel. The, the cold is real. The waves are real. You know, everything. I mean, I, I was there in there in the water with the camera filming her for quite a bit of it as well. But I mean, I had a wetsuit on. She was in a woolen. Uh, swimming costumes, so, you know, it doesn't really compare, I don't think. Well, it really is incredibly authentic. Um, Elliot Hasler, good luck with the movie. Um, it's a great story, actually, and uh, really look forward to seeing the film. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.